What's up guys, Lee Pulled the Brave here with another episode of Fictional OC Fights, featuring one of my OCs, Brass McNuckle Sandwich. If you want to see your OC appear in an episode, click the link down below to go to the Fictional Fights community and submit your character. Make sure their story is long enough to last a full minute and give us lots of details on their abilities and powers. With that said, let's get on with the episode. Inspired by legendary fighters like Moose Tree and Truck Horace, Brass decided to take martial arts classes himself. He was a decent student and became a black belt in no time. On a walk home one day from class, he saw one of his windows shattered and he quickly rushed home to see what had happened. Right as he walked in the door, he witnessed his parents being murdered by a gang of robbers. He tried to use his martial arts to attack and defeat them, but no matter how much he knew, he simply wasn't strong enough to cause damage to them. He was knocked out cold and when he woke up, his house was completely empty and both of his parents were laying in the ground in pools of blood. After all those years of training, after all the hard work, he he still failed simply because he didn't have enough power. Brass was completely heartbroken and decided to train his fists to become so powerful that they outmatched anyone else on the planet. He trained by punching trees, buildings, and even mountains, and soon became strong enough to destroy trees, crumble buildings, and crack those mountains. He even developed his own fighting style, Punch Kwon Do, and set out to be a hero for the city. Titan used to be an ordinary bear cub until some mysterious group kidnapped him and took him to test for experiments. Titan remained with them for five years and became part of their Project Evolve test. They performed all kinds of horrible experiments on him, one even replacing all of his muscles with metallic parts. However, all these body and mind enhancements gave him improved speed and strength and gave him a smarter mind, allowing him to break free and escape. However, there were just too many guards, so Titan was only able to save himself and left behind all the other animals and humans. After that, he spent quite a while getting used to his new body and what it could do, until he met up with another genius who happened to be good. He helped improve Titan's body further, and together they protect the forest from more evildoers. He constantly has to fight off members of that mysterious group to keep from being taken back, but he will go back someday to rescue the rest of the animals. I'm number one! Round one. Fight! <laughs> The winner is Titan. While Brass's fists may be strong enough to crack mountains, the rest of his body just doesn't stack up to Titan's strength. And besides, Titan has destroyed mountains. And while Brass may be fast enough to react to lightning, his legs just can't move at the same speed so there'd be no way he'd be able to get away from Titan. And while Brass has punched a bear through a skyscraper before, that was a completely normal bear. Titan is a cybernetic, super-powered bear. And while Brass's fireballs may help him burn off all of Titan's fur, it wouldn't do anything to his cybernetic body, considering Titan survived in the sun before he even began to start melting. Brass may be able to pack a punch, but he shouldn't have skipped leg day. The winner is Titan.